Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, it's me Cowboy Jack and today I'm ready to do, experience some cowboy stuff. You guys like cowboy stuff? I sure hope so because that's what I'm all about. Today we're here at Red Horse Reining Stables in Montgomery, Texas and inside Red Horse Reining Stables is Payne Equine. There's an actual veterinarian who takes care of horses and makes sure they're feeling in tip-top shape all the time and we're gonna get to experience some of those things but just take a look at this facility. I mean guys there are beautiful horses all around us. Such a cool facility. This big old place. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hi, Hi Cowboy Jack. Hi, nice to meet you. Who's this little cowboy? This is Cowboy Cullen. Cowboy Cullen, can you give me five? Look at this cowboy. This guy is awesome. You're all dressed up. Hey, you look better than me. <laughs> you got your vest on? Yeah. And your cabbie hat? Yeah. That looks so cool. Well, hey, I think we're going to... Are you... I think we're going to work with your daddy to learn a thing or two about how he takes care of horses. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting us work with him. Now, Speaking of that, Cowboy Case has his horse ready for an exam. Would you like to go meet him? Yeah, let's go find that cowboy. He's right this way. All right, guys, let's go meet up with Cowboy Case. This is such a beautiful facility here. Oh, hey, Cowboy Case. How's it going, buddy? So this is your horse, huh? What's his name? Flagger. I love it. Wow. Let him give me a little smell here. Hey, buddy. Wow, so you're going to bring him over here for an exam? All right, let's get to it. Guys, look at this beautiful horse. Cowboy Case is so good with his horse. Wow, you're really good at that, bud. That was awesome. Thank you for bringing him out for us. Wow, so you guys are clipping him in place so he doesn't try to run off or anything. He looks pretty calm. I don't think he's gonna run off. What a beautiful guy. All right. Oh, hey, right. are you Dr. Hey, Payne? Cowboy, yeah, Hi, Cowboy Dr. Jack, how Dr. you doing, Payne, Dr. It's Payne? it's great to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you, Cowboy Jack. So, <laughs> looks like we have Cowboy Case here today. Um, he's brought in Swagger for us. Um, and we're just gonna give Swagger a good once over, check him out, good physical exam, just make sure he's healthy, okay? That is so cool. So you're like a doctor for horses, just I like am. a doctor for yeah, people. Yeah, I'm a veterinarian. Um, I work only on horses and uh, yeah, so I'm a horse doctor. I love it, that is so awesome. Well, thank you for- I have a telescope. You do? Okay, that is so <laughs> cool, Cowboy Case. Well, let's go over here and we'll start looking at Swagger. So. Swagger is a 20 year old horse, so this guy's been around a lot. He's really gentle, but you know, the first thing we want to do when we walk up to a horse is just kind of pet on them and you know, let them know that you're there and let them know that everything's safe and you're not going to hurt them before we start examining. Okay, so we just kind of pet on him a little bit. And so I'm going to get my stethoscope here off and we're going to listen to his heart and listen to his lungs and uh you know just like the doctor would do for you that is you so crazy in. i mean yeah. that looks just like the stethoscope yeah. my doctor uses on it's, me it's right exactly like it the same thing so so you'll with that you'll be able to listen to his heart his lungs all those things. yes everything make sure everything sounds good and like it should okay all right so his heart is going to be right here kind of behind this leg um, is where a horse's heart is. Okay? okay. So we just put this in our ears like this and then just stick it down here. And you can hear it, lub dub, lub dub, just like a heart would sound. Beating, <laughs> That's okay? awesome. Can you guys hear that? That is so cool. And then we'll move on back and we'll listen to his lungs. His lungs are right in this area. Let's listen to him breathe. And so we can't tell him to breathe in and breathe out. So we just have to wait and we just have to listen, let, wait for him to take a breath and make sure oh, his lungs sound Oh, I can see he just took clear. a big old breath. Yeah, you can see it moving right here as he takes a breath. Okay, everything sounds great on Swagger there. I'm so, so glad to hear yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to take a listen? 
Sure. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I've never done this before, even to a person. So this is going to be really cool. But just like Dr. Payne did, I put these on my ear and then I'm going to listen to his heart right in here. I actually heard his heartbeat. How awesome is that? And then his lungs right here. Oh my goodness, that was so exciting. I can't believe, I, I got to learn so much just listening to his heart and listening to his lungs. And what a beautiful animal. This is so exciting. Thanks for letting me do you that. You bet, you bet, Cowboy Jack. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up and just look in his eyes right quick, okay? okay. So I have a fancy little instrument here. It's called an ophthalmoscope. And basically it's just a special lens that you look through and it allows me to look into his actual eye and just make sure everything in there is healthy, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna get my assistant Sydney here to take him um, off of the ties that we have. And we're going to just take a peek right quick in his eyes. So again, we'll just walk up here and kind of pet him, let him know that we're not going to hurt him. And then we'll just kind of like look right here at the outside of his eye, make sure it all looks healthy. And then we'll come up here and take this and we can actually look way back in his eye to make sure everything looks good and it does. So that eye looks great. All right. And come over here and do the good same job, thing to this Swagger. side. Just kind of check it out really good. And then look in his eye, it looks great. So he has a really healthy eye. So let me switch out and we're gonna look in his ears right quick. This make is so cool, Swagger's getting a full exam and you can tell Dr. Payne has an absolute gift with animals. This horse is so at peace with him and so calm and gentle. So we just switched this out. Now we have a device on here called an otoscope that you can look down in his ear and make sure everything looks healthy in there. So we're just gonna pat him, let him know we're not gonna hurt him. And then we can just peek down in his ears. Everything looks good in that one. Come over to this side. Everything looks good in that one. Okay, very good, Swagger. All right, you buddy, good you can job. hear good. Good job. <laughs> so we're gonna put this up and then we're going to go and we're gonna take a look in his mouth right quick. Okay. Okay, so we'll come over here and we'll just leave him off, Sydney, and then just kind of pat him again and we're just gonna kind of lift his lips up a little bit. Oh, oh look, look at, at that smile, teeth. look oh, at that. Oh, what a beautiful smile, yeah. Swagger. So we'll lift this up, we look at his gums, make sure they're a nice pink color like they should be, kind of look at his front teeth, everything looks good there. He's been such a good boy, so. Now, I've always had a question, Dr. Payne. Yeah. Have you ever heard somebody say he's a little long in the tooth? Correct. So what does that mean? Yeah, so horses, as they age, their teeth continuously grow, okay? Wow. So like your teeth do not grow. No, teeth, I, my teeth yeah. have been the same but size. But horses, size because before. they are designed to eat all day long and eat grass, their teeth continually grow to keep up with the wear and tear that's on their teeth. And so that's one of the reasons why we have to do a dental exam to make sure they're not too long. Um, and then we look at the front teeth of a horse and those are called as incisors and that's the teeth we were just looking at right here. And so oh, we look yeah. at these teeth and as the horse ages, these teeth get longer and longer and longer. And so this horse has about the length of tooth that a 20 year old horse should have. So that's how, that's where the saying long, long in the, in the tooth, tooth comes from. And also we can tell how old a horse is by looking at his teeth. So if you buy a horse and you don't know how old the horse is, um, we can look at their teeth and give you an estimation. Um, of their age. And that brings up another one of my old favorite sayings is never looked a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. And that's a good lesson to learn guys. Although we're talking about horses today, never look a gift horse in the mouth means always be appreciative of something that somebody's given you. So if someone were to give you a horse, you wouldn't want to instantly run and look at its teeth so you could know, hey, they're giving me an old horse. You're just like, wow, they gave exactly. me a horse. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That is so cool. Yeah. So. And then we'll just kind of feel the swagger as we come down and just make sure he doesn't have any lumps and bumps and swelling and feel of his legs and pick his legs up and just make sure everything feels pretty good. And it does on swagger. He's a pretty healthy guy. 
Boy, you forget just how muscular horses are, but look at his chest there. I mean, he is absolutely just one giant lean, mean, well not mean, a lean, sweet horse machine. Yeah, he's super sweet. And you know, these well-trained horses, you know, they, they're trained to do everything that you ask. They stand for you and they allow you to examine them, okay? Wow, guys, let's go see what he's doing now. Hey, Dr. Payne, what's hey, going on? Hey, Cowboy Jack. What's going on in here? Yeah, so we have our next patient here in the exam room, and this is Sugar. Sugar and looks looks like a beautiful girl. She is, and she's a 13-year-old mare. That's what we call female horses, yeah. mares. And so Sugar is pregnant. And she's so, pregnant? Yeah, she's pregnant, and so she's here today to get an ultrasound so that we can check on the baby and see how healthy the baby is and make sure the heart is beating correctly and make sure everything looks good. Okay? How awesome is that? So this horse is gonna have a baby and Dr. Payne is doing an ultrasound on her just like uh, mommies and daddies get to go have when they're gonna have a baby. Wow, so this screen will let you see the baby too. It does, and so this is the baby. He's moving around on us really fast. So. These little black lines that are coming across the screen, that's the ribs. And that looks like his liver that just popped up in the screen. And we'll go around here and see if we can find the heart. So he's moving around on us a lot. That is uh, so see. exciting. It's like using technology to your advantage. Oh, there's the heart. The heart is Look beating right here. You can see this just like we were listening to earlier on the other horse. Every time it beats, it's going lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. And that's the beating of the heart right here. And so we can hit this button and it will actually show us the blood coming into the heart. So all this red and all this blue is the red is the arteries of the vein, or the arteries coming into the heart, and the blue is the veins with the blood in the heart. That is so cool. I absolutely love. I mean, you use a lot of technology with your job. We do. You, you use every tool in your toolbox to make sure that baby is safe, right? We do. That and is so cool. Yeah, and so Sugar is nine months pregnant, and so. She still has about two months to go because horses carry their babies longer than we do. That's crazy. So she's, guys, did you catch that? Sugar's been carrying the baby for nine months and she's got two more months to go. That's 11 months total. That, you know, humans, us folks, whenever a mommy's gonna have a baby, she carries that baby for nine months before giving birth, but they have to do it two more months. That's extra hard work. So yeah, the heart looks healthy on the baby and everything's beating and everything looks good. That just is wiggling so around cool. in here and moving a lot. So we're happy and everything looks healthy. So hopefully in two more months, we'll have a good healthy baby to show you. That is awesome. Well, Sugar, congratulations. I am so excited for you to get to be a mommy. That is awesome. And I love, thank you for showing us you this. I, I never knew that you use tools like this, just like on humans in horses and I bet other animals too. Yeah. Yeah, that is exactly. so cool. Hey guys, Cowboy Case is holding Jesse the horse here, but Jesse's not just standing on any normal ground. He's actually on a theraplate. This plate vibrates, and so Jesse can feel that all the way up through his body, and it makes him helps him relax. And it actually it's therapeutic. It's like a massage, and it starts at your feet. The longer you stand on it, the farther it works up your body. So Jesse's probably feeling a little bit nervous right now, but as he stands there longer, he's gonna get more happy and more used to it. You know something funny about horses though, is when their ears are back, that means they're a little bit nervous. When their ears are forward, that means they're really relaxed and feeling good. So I bet if we wait here long enough, Mr. Jesse's gonna have those ears forward just hanging out. But he's also wondering, who is this guy right here with me? And why is he filming me? <laughs> he said, I didn't know I was gonna be a movie star today. <laughs> That is so cool. And so he'll stand on that TheraPlate for a while and it'll help all these sore muscles feel so much better. I just love seeing that. And as you can see, Jesse's a really muscular horse. He's really strong. And so this plate's gonna help his feet, his arms, his shoulders, and even his back feel better over time. 
Hey, Dr. Payne, what are you doing now? You're wearing a different outfit. Yeah, hey, Cowboy Jack. Yeah, so now we have Boss in here, um, and we're going to take an x-ray of Boss's um, knee here. Um, he has a little arthritis in some of his knees, and so we're just going to check it out and make sure everything's okay. All right. That so, is cool. Now, an yeah. x-ray is like a picture of bone. So if you were to hold a camera right here and take a picture of Boss, it would look just like we see it with our eyes, on a, you know, without any technology involved. But this, de wow, that's a really cool device yeah. you have there. Yeah, so this is called an x-ray generator. So it's basically like a giant camera that shoots x-ray beams. That is so yeah. cool, and that's why you guys are wearing those specialty vests to yeah. protect yourself. Yeah, so we want to protect ourselves from radiation, because um, it's just like you know any of the radiation from the sun or any kind of radiation is not Even good for you. Even when we go you, to the so. dentist, we even wear when you go to the dentist, yeah, that's, that's why true. they put a put a, a lead vest on top of you to keep the the radiation off of you. Okay, so okay. yeah. So we'll get you to stand back. Okay, um, yeah. A few let feet me step while we away. take this, and then we'll uh, and then we'll look at it on the screen together that after is we so take cool. it. Okay? All right, boss, just be still, buddy. <laughs> Wow, guys, look at that. All right, come on over, Cowboy Jack. That was so cool. We'll take a look. Let's go run over here. Wow, these are already popping up on the screen. Yeah, and so it's super fast. It's guys, instant. You, know, you don't that. have to develop film and do things like that anymore. So that is so unique. So we'll turn them. So. That is what we call the horse's knee. Um, this is actually the same joint as your wrist on a human, but that's all the bones um, in his leg, in his front leg right there. Um, and that's the joint that we were x-raying. That is so cool. I just love how you use technology for medical advantages. This is amazing. Yeah, it's great. We can touch screen we can zoom in and look close and look see if there's that, any guys. breaks or all see if make sure bones. that yeah make sure that everything looks and that all looks pretty good well i'm glad to hear that for boss <laughs> that was so awesome thank you for showing us that you bet wow guys cowboy case and cowboy sterling are bringing some miniature horses over to go see a farrier they're gonna the farrier is gonna take care of their feet and make sure they're in good shape well, Case, I'll let you lead the way, buddy. Go ahead. All right, guys, Dr. Payne is doing something really unique that I didn't even think existed, but let's go check it out. Hey, Dr. Payne. Hey, Cowboy Jack. What is going on here? This horse looks like he's wearing a special piece of head equipment there. Yeah, he is. So this is Jesse. And so Jesse's in here today um, to get a dental exam. So we're going to check a his teeth dental out. dental exam. So you're like a horse dentist. Yeah, too. we do everything. So we do <laughs> horse dentistry as well. And so um, he comes in, he's coming today. We're going to check his mouth out, make sure everything's good. Um, wow, go ahead, girls. And, open his mouth up a little bit so we can see his mouth and you can see his teeth and they go way back in there okay like way back and you can see and up in here there's some sharp there's some sharp points on the edges of his teeth up in here and so like we had talked about before um, horses continually grow their teeth throughout the year um, and so we have to go in about once a year and actually take um, kind of like a file um, like they would have at the dentist and we're actually going to go in there and just and, sh and just smooth out. those sharp points down on their okay. teeth that way they don't cut their cheeks and their tongues and they're more comfortable okay? yeah I do that sometimes when yeah. I get too excited about a cheeseburger yeah. I'll yeah. bite into it and I get the inside exactly. of my mouth well, Jesse will be in good shape after you yeah. take care of him yeah <laughs> so 
let's go ahead and put the light on him and I'm going to get, um, these are called floats and so um, it's called floating the teeth and so it just means smoothing them out and so we use a machine here that powers them and just like in a real dentist except everything's horse size so wow. everything is really big well, that's reach all the way back in that mouth that's one thing i never thought i mean i've been around horses a lot and i never thought about how long their mouth is that's a really long mouth they have a lot of teeth they do they have a lot of teeth so um, they need it because they're grinding up hay and they're grinding up corn and things like that that are not, not soft like what we eat. So they yeah. need all those teeth to be able to grind them up good. So we're going to go ahead here and just finish examining right quick and look at it. Like I said, he's just got a bunch of sharp points in here. So this is one of our tools that we use um, and it has a guard on it. So it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't cause any damage inside the mouth. It just goes down the side of the tooth and just shaves off the sharp points that we need. Wow, and, that is really and, cool. and Jesse is a little bit sedated here. Um, just like you can get sedation dentistry if you don't like the dentist. Horses don't really, you know, prefer for these motorized tools in their well, mouth. I don't so, think Mr. Jesse yeah. He quite understands what he you know what you're trying to do exactly if he knew you were helping him just like you or i go into the dentist we know the dentist is there to help us make our teeth feel really good so we go in there with a positive attitude but he's not used to all this correct correct so Okay, we're gonna switch tools right quick. We'll grab this tool, and again, this is just a, another little kind of file that spins, and it's that. gonna kind of work on the top of the tooth. So we'll go down at his bottom teeth, and we'll kind of grab his tongue and move it out of the way. And just real gently go back here. And All right, let's lay him down and rinse his mouth out right quick. So just like when you go to the dentist, you don't want all the things in, inside your mouth, you know, when they get done cleaning your teeth. So that's right, the dentist tells a, you to rinse. Yeah, so the dentist tells you to rinse. And so we'll drop his head down and that's exactly what they're going to do right now is they're going to squirt some water up in his mouth and give him a good rinse so that his teeth are really clean. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. I bet he's saying thank you. My tongue feels yeah, all dry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so that's all there is to it. And uh, he'll be good for another year. And then he'll come that back in. That is so great. We'll, well Mr. Jesse, your teeth are going to be feeling in tip top shape, Bubba. Thank you for letting us see that. That was so cool. Wow, guys, we're here at a health spa for horses. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Willie here is actually in a spa bath with Epsom salt and dead sea salt bubbling all around him. If you look right in there, this thing is absolutely full of water and it's bubbling and it's circulating that all around and it so Willie's got treatment for his feet his ankles all of that the healing power of the water and this water is actually only 36 degrees that's why Willie's feeling a little bit moody right now it's a cold day out but look at this they have all this complicated controls for this entire device and this controls how the water's moving how it's bubbling for him and all of that so Willie, I appreciate you letting us see this, buddy. I know you're not real happy with it because it is chilly today, but I think they even have somewhere for you to warm up, right? <laughs> now, Willie is actually the horse that's the namesake of the farm we're at here at Red Horse Reining Stables. Willie is the original red horse of how this place got its name. You've got a really cool place named after you. You ought to be happy. Let's get a smile, huh? Little smile. He's not smiling, he's cold. We better let him get out of there. <laughs> Hey guys, did you know that there's such thing as an aqua pacer for horses? Our buddy Swagger is in the aqua pacer. What that means, it's basically like a big old tub 
with a treadmill down below. So Mr. Swagger is actually walking on a treadmill in water. Now that seems a little funny, doesn't it? Guys, get a side view. So you can see Swagger walking on that treadmill, getting all of his organs going, all of his blood pumping, everything. But the reason it's in water is because water is a, a great recovery tool. It also makes you less buoyant, right? Wow, look at Swagger go, this is so cool. So like whenever you have an injury or a surgery or anything, a lot of times they'll have you recover in water because you can kind of float and it puts less pressure on your joints. That's exactly what we're doing here today. He's getting in a good workout without all that pressure and gravity forcing on his joints. And he's also having a good time in there. That is so cool. Wow, Dr. Payne, thank you so much for having us today here. This was so much fun. We got to see a little bit of everything. We got to see a dental exam. We got to see uh, ultrasound on a horse and see the baby horse inside. We got to see a regular checkup, all kinds of stuff. Even the aqua pacer and the, all, my head is spinning there was so much. So I really appreciate your time. So thank you for you having bet, us. You bet, Cowboy Jack, glad and, to have you. Hey, but at the end of the show, we always do the yeehaw. You think you could help me with that? Oh, absolutely. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you had a blast with us. But until we see you next time, one, two, three. Yeah! <laughs>